I got a listener question about why did I choose the Parasound amps for my home theater in conjunction with the rest of the equipment and such that I use them with. So let's answer that question. All right, so I got this question uh, through my webpage, actually, jeremypile.com. It's part of the whole Techthusiasm banner, and I do want to put it out there. If you have questions, specific questions, this is probably one of the easiest and best ways to send them in to me. Go to the webpage, there's a contact form, fill it out, type in what you've got, and I'll make sure to try to cover it in content here on the channel. So, Lewis M. asks, well, he says, first of all, love your content. Thanks so much, Lewis. It says, quote, I just ordered an AVM90. Awesome. And trying to choose between your amp setup, which I also saw another video with the same running per Liston speakers, or the Anthem MCA line. If I could ask, why did you go with the Parasound? Regards, Lou. So, why did I go with Parasound? And I could have also very much chosen the Anthem MCA amplifiers as well, and I did look at a couple of other models too. And I certainly am an Anthem fan. I love this AVM70. I'm kind of drooling over that AVM90 that just came out. I'd very, very much like an Anthem STR, I think, to be driving uh, my living room 2.2 zone. So why not go Why not go all Anthem? Why not go with the Anthem amplifiers? And of course, um, I did come from Emotiva amplifiers, the, the Gen 3 version though, which is very different design and performance characteristic than the Gen 1 or the Gen 2 Emotivas. So end of the day, why did I go with Parasounds? Well, I knew that I was looking for a a higher level, better built, more exclusive, right, type of amplifier, stepping up and beyond kind of the Emotiva brand. And I did a lot of searching. The, the other part of that too is I knew I was matching with Focal speakers. I had the Electras and the Arias in the room before, and then in, in the mix of everything came the idea of Home Theater 2.0, knowing that I was gonna stick with Focal, but change everything over to that 1000 series line, basically Sopras, Beryllium Tweeters. Because Focal kind of has a distinction of being a more forward, being a more forward or a brighter, quote unquote, right, type of speaker, there's, there's a general recommendation and a large preference that I read, you know, scouring the internet, all kinds of different uh, home theater enthusiast forums, watching other YouTube content, you know, whatever information I could find, looking for folks that had Focal speakers with the types of materials, types of materials and such that mine had and would have with the rest of the upgrades and trying to look, okay, well, what amplifiers are people running with these? You know, what are they considered to be a good match? Trying to find feedback from real owners, not just conjecture, right? Not just um, opinions or maybe even somebody that just might've like demoed something, but what are people that are at least claiming to own this stuff what are they using and what do they like and what do they don't like? And so I found a lot of folks that seem to be matching like the higher end Focal speakers with much higher end amplifiers, past labs and, and, and actually a lot of just pure class A type amplifiers and such as well. And I knew I wasn't going to go there. It's too expensive and I'm, I'm looking to amplify right, 11 speakers. I wanted to get everything on the same amplification. So I'm not buying past amps for... For, for 11 channels, I'm not at that budget, you know, at the moment and such. But so, you know, what else, what else could I find? In the one model that resonated a lot, that I saw a lot of reference to in terms of matching with that Focal uh, material and that Focal sound was Parasound. And so one of the defining factors or design elements of these Parasound Halo amps is they run a class A slash AB architecture. And so it depends, it's a little different specific Parasound amp to Parasound amp, how many watts of power they operate in that pure class A band before they kind of switch to the AB band. But for a lot of like kind of normal volume, normal usage listening levels, you kind of stay in that A band, uh, you know, for, for quite a significant amount of time. And that creates a different character of sound, a warmer tone. So matching a warmer amplifier with a brighter speaker. And I know these terms are kind of like hyperbole, but I, I would say that I, I feel it. I think I hear it from my acoustical memory of what I had before to what I have now. And again, trying to do as much corroboration as I could with other people that actually own the stuff and were commenting that, oh, you know, I have these speakers and I tried these amps and I changed to these and I like this, you know, I like this thing better. So for, for a match to the Focal, 
the Parasound was very much a, a commonly held positive match by a number of folks that I saw, you know, claiming to um, speaking as owners and speaking about their experience and their opinion um, on their experience. And so to be perfectly honest as well, I was able to get these amplifiers from my friend Dan DiCarlo AudioVision if you're in Southeast Michigan. Uh, check them out if you want a referral to any of the custom integration services, brands, and home theater and AV stuff and control automation that Dan does. I can hook you up, but of course I had a connection, and so yes, I was able to get them, you know, at at a at a friends and family uh, type of rate, and and so you know it's not like I got them at like 25% MRP or anything like that, but you know they're expensive amplifiers. Ma ma maximizing the the money that I was spending, right? So um, and being able to, not only just to get a little bit of that kind of friends and family discount, but to be able to source them from a friend. So if I ever have a problem with these things, if something ever comes up, they're covered under, you know, Dan's service. They're covered by somebody that I know directly, not just uh, an, an independent, uh, discreet dealer purchase or an online kind of thing. So, you know, I want to support local business. I want to support my friends. And so everything just lined up like Parasound was far, far and away, like the solid state brand that people really, really seem to prefer with the beryllium tweeter and in those types of full cal speakers i was able to source them uh directly from a friend support his business support local business get a nice right little friends and family discount in the process so sales support service and all of that stuff is is set very nicely with these and of course like the pedigree of these amplifiers is just so high you, you go around looking for reviews and, and whatnot on Parasound and it's just it's one of those top brands the the build quality the construction the internals the guts I'm an engineer I'm a computer engineer um, I do a lot of software stuff but as a computer engineer I understand hardware and I understand kind of the intersection between how hardware right and software pieces work together and I really respect the engineering based on my research looking at them how the stuff is put together how the Parasound amplifiers, particularly in these Halo brand, in this Halo line, um, is designed and built. And so, to me, it looked awesome from a hardware engineering perspective. And so that, of course, that was a bit of a draw to me as well. Um, I did see a number of folks, like through Focal, the, the Facebook uh, Focal uh, users group and other places. You know, Anthem amps are, are really great, and they, they came up in discussion as well and, and I, I found enough feedback I would say again from Focal owners there's a preference to Parasound over Anthem for those specifically for those speakers and again because of their character because of their materials and and, and such um, so that's not to say that the Anthem amplifiers are not awesome I am completely enamored with Anthem equipment and I intend to, to deploy it everywhere for the foreseeable future for my processing but their amplifiers are not the same kind of technology that the Parasounds are, and so they have a different character. They have a different character, and you know they may match better with other types of speakers, you know, than these Focals. Um, I have not heard per listen. Um, I've of course have been following the the bigger channels and Youthman and all those guys that have been getting per listen speakers in for review, and I have to say like that company looks amazing. Um, you know, a, a American company with a, a very high level of engineering pedigree for the folks that founded it are putting those speakers together. The speakers look fabulous. By all accounts, they perform amazing. You know, they're up there in price. It, it's a premium brand as well, but equitable in some of the lines to Focal. Um, I didn't really consider Perlist and speakers for myself. I was I was pretty pretty set and pretty happy with with my Focal, and I know I wanted in walls, and so Perlist and doesn't. Uh, they don't have the full in-wall uh, line built out yet. I think even the first speakers, the first mains are only even becoming available. Might not even be available yet. And then they need to build out not just the one model, but different models and Atmos speakers and all that kind of stuff. So for me, per, you know, per listing wasn't there. So I can't specifically comment, I guess, on like what would be the best match for a per listing speaker. But the process that I went through to identify that I wanted to buy Parasound and that par trying to confirm as best I could with other folks that might have owned the stuff and had opinions and had experiences 
that that's a gr that Parasound was a great match for those speakers. And so I would I would recommend you do the same. If there's a Perliston Facebook group, if there's Perliston owners threads on AV forums or AVS forum and other places online that you can go, you know, go to those threads and ask people about these are my speakers. What are you know do you, folks that have them? What are you using for amplification? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you want to switch it? And kind of get a litmus test for you know what what people are using and what people feel is a really great match to the speakers. I think there's something to the idea that some amps in their technology, in their, their character, in their build, fit speakers based, again, on their materials, in their technology, in their build, in their character. And uh, I don't know that there's really any scientific way to, to map those two things together, but you know, you, you just go out and find find as much information as you can to arrive at, you know, to arrive at a happy choice, you know, and one that hopefully performs awesome. And, and I'll say too that probably most of even what I'm saying, like in this video, is really splitting hairs. Was it bad having the Emotiva amps connected to those Focal speakers? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Would it be bad having the Anthem amplifiers connected to these Focal 1000 speakers? Absolutely not. I, I, I think like all this stuff is like so amazing and so good and these brands and their engineering and their build quality and all the stuff they're doing is up there and so you know we're, we're talking about the last percents of performance and you know in some ways even a little bit of hyperbole built in uh and such so i can say you know these, these amplifiers between the three of them i have the a31 and a dual pair of a52 pluses um, I think that they hit the right power levels for the Focal speakers specifically that I was using. That was, that was actually another part of it. The A31 at 250 watts into 8 ohms and the A52 Plus is at 180 watts into 8 ohms is a really, really good, I think, power match for those Focal 1000s. Not having big floor standing towers. I, don't, I didn't need like a Parasound JC5, you know, or the, the, the super crazy model blocks and all that stuff. Like this is plenty of power awesome character a great match i sourced them from a friend and um, and there's a bunch of you know benefits and such to doing that and so and, and just the pedigree basically of the brand itself and the confirmation of uh, other folks you know having owned similar speakers finding this match compared to other options and being happy with it so that that's that's my answer i guess long-winded now and and the best advice that i could give is go out there and look for folks that actually own this stuff, commenting on it, and you know, see what they say, and ask them, ask them questions, post for those questions, and so on. But take it all with a grain of salt. Take it all with the understanding that there's a lot of hyperbole kind of built into this stuff, and we're really talking again about like the last whatever five percent of performance, kind of splitting hairs between, you know, between one one brand or another. At least in my experience. And, you know, I'm, I'm getting to kind of experience a wider array of brands, a wider array of stuff because I'm doing more things in my space here and hopefully actually going to be able to get out and, and hear some other things in some other places and expand my listening knowledge and my visual knowledge, um, you know, seeing some different projectors and, and other things. So I'm uh, curious how my, how my taste and my opinion on things might evolve as I get more exposure um, and experience. But that's my take. So thanks for sending in the question. If anybody else, again, has, has specific questions, please absolutely send them in. I'll, uh, I'd be happy to do, if it's a longer form answer, I can go long winded on it. I can do an independent video like this, or I can fold, you know, simpler questions into smaller vlogs, uh, smaller vlogs. If you post them in the comments of the videos, I'll try to catch them, you know, and include them there. But one of the best ways to do it, go to jeremypile.com, use the contact form and you know, send some stuff back or send some questions in that way. And I can try to hit them in a more, more concerted way. So thanks so much for watching. Absolutely. Please like, and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Look down in the description for some ways to support the channel and we'll see you soon.